Now we're down to the final event of this rainy Sunday morning as we get set for the mixed team competition. And not much time for Furukawa Takahuru to dwell upon the loss to In Dong Hyun as he comes right back out with Mickey Connie, or Connie Mickey, excuse me. And they will be on target number one on the left, and they will take on Brady Ellison and Jennifer Nichols of the United States in this mixed team match. Of course, Jennifer Nichols and Brady Ellison both winning their quarterfinal matches, while Connie Mickey and Furukawa Takahuru both fell to defeat. But a chance to atone for that right here if they can get this gold medal in the mixed team competition. Fantastic support. The diehard fans remaining in the stands here in Tokyo. After this match, we'll have a short lunch break, and we'll be back in about an hour or so after that for the semifinals, and then the gold and the bronze medal matches. I've got a feeling maybe the sun will be coming out. What do you think? <laughs> I think you are a very positive and optimistic <laughs> human being. Our Always. dignitaries staying up there in the booth watching on. It's actually very pleasant in terms of temperature. It's in the 70s here in Tokyo. <laughs> Yeah, and that's crucial. If it was cold, this would be causing even more problems because cold fingers is not something an archer wants. Just takes away your sensitivity, takes away your consistency, and probably takes away the score as well. So Brady opens with an eight. And now it's Jennifer Nichols out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Great shot, Jenny. Very nice shot by Jennifer Nichols. We're going to keep tabs and see whether the uh, ladies beat the men. Or should we Why just not? be discreetly not? Let's. <laughs> I put my money on the ladies. Right now, they're shooting well. Yeah, that could be a safe bet. Connie Mickey with a nine. And another nine. So something for these fans to cheer about here in Japan. As the Japanese duo takes the early lead. 18-17. Brady Ellison trying to do something about that. Another eight for Brady. Yeah, he wouldn't be happy with that. Let's see if Jennifer can put another one in the gold. And she does. Actually, she actually broke the end of her other arrow. If you look, she has orange colored knocks on the end of the shafts, and I don't know if we'll get another look at her target face, but you can see the orange knock has actually been broken off by the impact of that second arrow. So that's how close she's grouping. She actually hit the back of her first shot. Not the effort that Connie Mickey was looking for right there, a five. Not at all. That will certainly hurt the chances. And in fact, it has doused the chances. So eight finishes off the set. Possible three point lead for the United States. This might be two points after official scoring on Rakawa's last shot. And of course, in the mixed team competition, we revert back to the cumulative scoring. So we're out of the set system right now. Which makes that five even more costly. Exactly. So depending upon the official decision by the judges, there's the five, the arrow shot by Mickey Connie, or Connie Mickey, excuse me. Although under these conditions, I think anything's possible. Yeah, it's certainly going to add a level of uh, inconsistency and the possibility for upsets. 
So there is the official score. It's a two-point lead, 34-32 for the United States. And again, we're keeping cumulative scores here in the mixed team competition. We'll go back into the set system this afternoon for the semifinals and then the medal matches in the recurve competition. But for the teams, it is cumulative scoring. And the U.S. leads it 34-32, largely on the strength of that five-point arrow shot by Connie Mickey just moments ago. Second end is underway now. And I got to think right now, Michael, it's pretty much a guessing game from one shot to the next. You've just got to try and use your gut instinct and your experience of trying to trying to see how the weather's how the weather's changing and maybe I don't know but maybe those two arrows have gone low because it's now raining harder. There's more water for the arrows to literally pass through as they get to the target and over 70 meters pushes the arrows down. But that's all part of the skill. Most of these guys have been shooting for over a decade and that's the type of skill you pick up over time and you just just do your best. And so far, uh, Jennifer's best has been uh, better than her teammates. Just hanging on. Uh, seven star. I think that person, I think that's probably going to be an eight, but we'll let the experts decide that. That's what they're here for. Connie Mickey ranked 102nd in the world, and this time comes up with a little bit better effort in the eight ring. Or excuse me, seven. Yeah, seven. So these two archers who perform so well in London, struggling here in Tokyo in the rain, another seven. Yeah, they've let that really open up. Sometimes when athletes find out their, their grip of the bow, the point of the bow where you put your hand in, sometimes when that gets wet, they can feel like on the shot that they haven't got a solid grip on the bow, they can sometimes feel it move and that can be quite off-putting. Wow, there was a lot of water from that shot, but it didn't matter. Terrific shot by Brady Ellison, who trains in San Diego, of course comes from Arizona. Sunny Arizona, I believe. Sunny Arizona. I doubt there's been too many days like this in Arizona or even San Diego, though they do get a little bit more rain down there in Southern California. And so the United States wins this end, 33 to 29, picks up four more points. And Team USA in command of the mixed team match. And we may see the first gold medal of the day go to the United States, which won four, actually five gold medals yesterday when you throw in the compound mixed team mm, gold yeah, medal. Yeah, of course. Always got to count that one. That's right. Christy Collin and Rio Wild bit of pairing a dream up. Team. Yeah, a bit of a dream team, that is. And it proved to be the, be the case as well. So the United States, perhaps just moments away, Raindrops away from the sixth gold medal here at the World Cup Finals, and I think oh. they're loose right now. I want to see some Justin Bieber fans there. Bieber fever even here in Tokyo in the rain. <laughs> but that's what you need to do. You can't let the conditions get you down. Keep upbeat, keep pushing, keep on shooting. Now they'll be talking about this years from now. I think all the archers will be talking about this years from now. Remember 2012? Remember Tokyo 2012? That's all that will need be said. Wow, that was a bit of a poor start again. It's not what they need if they want to pull this back. Is that going to be a six or it's a six? It's a six. Okay. A little bit better, but not in the gold. And I think Good, if they want to pull this, uh, pull this match back in the gold is where they need to be. Of course, that takes the crowd out of it just a little bit. Good look at the customized pink bow that Brady Ellison uses. Of course, he's shooting for the cure, raising money for the fight against cancer. And if Absolutely. you go to his website, you can find out how you can contribute to that battle against cancer. Extremely worthwhile cause.
Great shot. Great Jake shot. Awesome Terrific shot. shot. Great job. We'll agree Great with the job. coach there. She convinced me. <laughs> Perhaps the best shot of the match so far for Connie Mickey. Who, as we mentioned earlier, was a member of the Japanese team that captured the bronze in London. Fantastic grouping, but just, just off to the right there. And it's going to be costly, I feel. So not an awful lot for the Japanese fans to cheer about here in this gold medal match. Good shot. Good shot. Inside the nine ring. Solid nine. Nines are probably, probably enough to keep control of this match. Let's see if Jennifer can uh, outdo Brady again. Great she can. scores yeah. another 10. Awesome. Fantastic. Great job. That's twice now she's had her arrows so close they're touching. Jennifer Nichols on her game right now. That's two 10s. Considering it's her second honeymoon, it's a fantastic performance. So for the team from Japan, 91 out of a possible 120 points. And the judges checking those arrows. The U.S. 106 out of a possible 120. So the Americans well on their way, just needing to finish things off now as we head to the fourth and final end after three ends, a commanding 15-point lead for the United States over Japan. So barring a complete collapse by Team USA, it should be another gold medal for the Americans. You'd have to be a brave man to bet against them right now. Or foolish. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess it works both ways. And eight for Connie Mickey. Really need to find the ten ring here if they're gonna claw something back. Mr. Furukawa with a start. nine. It's a start. Brady looks so wet. He does. He looks like he wouldn't get any wetter if he went for a swim. He really does look soaked. See his Olympic tattoo there on his right elbow. I believe he's uh, adding to that in the near future. With his, uh, he's got a special design for London, I believe. A lot of athletes here like to remember their Olympic Games with uh, tattoos, either with places and results or just the Olympic rings themselves. Great shot, that's a very good shot, very good shot. Two excellent shots by Team USA. Brady with the bullseye to the nine by Jennifer Nichols. And we are down to the final two arrows now of the gold medal match in the mixed team competition here in Japan. And there you go, something Fantastic. for the fans to cheer about. Always good to go out on a high, but sadly, I do think they're going to be going out. Furukawa Takahuru. The Olympic silver medalist finishing his day with a nine. So 36 points, their best end, but it comes too late. As you get a better view. Well, just in my mind, I think at the moment, Jennifer's probably one or two points up on Brady. So uh, she, can, uh, she can shoot a nine or a 10. She'll uh, win the match and she'll also uh, Unofficially, uh, take one over her teammate as well. A little competition within the competition. Which is surprising how much the girls like to talk about that. <laughs> she does. Shocking. <laughs> Not the shot that, that they would like to talk about that. Big hug. She's shooting fantastic. Top form. Bodes well for her in the uh, semifinals coming up in a little while, and it also bodes it well for Brady Ellison. 
No, but it's very well for her. If she can beat the world ranked number one man, you'd, uh, that puts you in fantastic shape going through so into the semifinals. Very, very, very strong performance by the team of Ellison and Nichols as Brady tries to shake off the rain. He'll go in, try to towel off, as will Jennifer. Get dry, warm up a little bit. Change the clothes for Change sure. Change the clothes, get set to do battle again this afternoon in the semifinals. And we'll have some great matches this afternoon as we've got some great archers moving on. Once again, in case you're joining us just now, Kibo Bay, Choi Hayanju, Jennifer Nichols, Deepika Kumari, all winning their quarterfinal matches. They will all be coming back for the semifinals.